far do you think the Fed's going to go with rates? Well, good morning, Yusuf. Greetings from Sydney. I'll tell you what, I think it could go a couple, a little bit higher considering the inflation story. Is it under control? And if it's anything like what we saw in Australia a couple of hours back, it's sitting there, uh, it was nudged up. So if the Fed, if it's a good number that comes out tomorrow night, then I'm happy. If it's a bad number, then we could see further rate rises or significant. I mean, Paul Tudor Jones compared uh, the inflation fight to moon landing. Uh, do you subscribe to that view? And I mean, would you say well, there's probably a 15 or 20 percent chance of it working out if you look at all the attempts to make it to the moon? I think so. I, I looked at Paul Tudor Jones's quote there, and it was uh, an interesting one. So, yeah, probably he's pretty right. He's on the money, and uh, we've just got to get through. Uh, I think the, this month is going to be crucial. And that jobs number that came out Friday night was a little bit disappointing at 223,000. I just want to check to see Fed, re Fed rhetoric and overall mood and sentiment. And uh, I think this month could be a real telling month. What about positioning in terms of equities? What are you telling clients about how to navigate what you say is going to be a tumultuous few weeks ahead? Well, I think we've got we've still built on that Christmas rally in a lot of ways, Yusuf. You know, you've seen a stronger Dow. The S and P's had a nice little bump up, and even the Nasdaq's gone for a little bit of a run. So it's been a nice way to start the year. Whether that will continue, I think we're all waiting to see what comes out as far as those numbers tomorrow night, and that will tell the mood moving forward into next week. The good news was the China story that adds a level of confidence across. I think you know the global global confidence market uh, but yeah there's just um, wait and see let's see the numbers drop and that will give us a clear indication of how to best uh, I suppose strategize the pathway forward in the last hour I was speaking with the standard Chartered man Preet Gill and I asked him about gold given what we've seen yeah. in terms of dollar weakness recently and uh, he wasn't quite sold on it they were neutral on gold. They said it's all about the real yield. Don't focus too much on the nominal price of the precious metal. What does Peter Maguire think? Well, we've had a really nice move up since October, and we're conscious of that and be understanding that silver's up the best part of 30% from 18, nearly to 24 bucks. So gold's had a tremendous move to the upside. Is, is it running out of steam? I just want to see, again, those inflation numbers and that the, the US dollar coming under further pressure to the downside. We've seen that big correction. We're sitting there at 1880, 1885. Are we going to crack 1900 this week? Um, just hold on to your hat. But a lot of traders have done extremely well in the last two months. And uh, it's maybe a time to consolidate and just uh, be aware of the big numbers. I mean, there is a growing consensus that we might have seen already a peak in the US dollar. Uh, whether or not yeah. that actually materializes depends on the data. Well, you know, a lot of things depend on the data. For people looking yes. for trades in FX beyond the greenback, uh, what interesting tactical plays uh, are you recommending? Well, we've had a close look at the, at the yen. That hasn't disappointed. Mm -hmm. It's just been dynamic over the last three to four months as far as movement and volatility. The euro hasn't, hasn't disappointed at all considering it's now at the best part of 107.50. So it's had a really nice move to the upside. You're looking at uh, the pounds even being quite a good market to trade, and the Aussie's been outstanding, considering where we were in May at 76, back to nearly 60, and then a big push to the upside from October onwards. So any of those have been electric, and, uh, yeah, they, they, I don't think they'll, they'll disappoint over the next couple of months. There's still a lot of uncertainty and currencies are a way to play. The most read story on the Bloomberg this morning, Peter, is about uh, Jeffrey Gundlach. And his comments get a lot of interest anyway. But today, especially sure. so, he says, listen to the bond markets. Don't listen to the Fed. Uh, you think the bond market is, is telling a, a more accurate story about what the world will face this year? Well, yes and no. I mean, I take on board his comments and it's they're very valid and I think you can, you know, rest your rest up against them with a great degree of confidence. But there's still so much uncertainty moving forward that really is that I think fear gauge that comes into the market that really take strips away sentiment and strips away positive sentiment. So 
Yeah, we, we're, we're conscious of the bond market, but we're also looking at that US dollar closely. We want to see the mood across equities and the overall theme moving forward with inflation. Is it under control? And is there another leg up for energy prices? That's a great dilemma for all consumers globally. I mean, speaking of price pressures, you said you had two scenarios, one where we had an upside surprise and a downside surprise on the U.S. CPI this week. That is yeah. not going to work for me, Peter. You're going to have to you're going to have to attach your thinking to one particular scenario. If you have to make one bet between the two, which one would it be on? Uh, well, yes, if I'm going to say that I, I, I believe it will come under. So I think that, the, you know, the consensus is you're looking at a, a, a nice little drop. And if that is the good news story that comes out, then that's going to be a positive tone for equities. And I think that that will give the markets a little bit of a rally to the upside for possibly a week or so. So that's where I'm looking at the moment. And uh, well, I'm going to rest my hat on that one, that the numbers aren't going to disappoint and it's going along with consensus.